Hey Sherry. Hi Mark. It is a glorious day. It's beautiful. The sun is shining through the, uh, the large window we have here in yes. our sanctuary and uh, it is, um, well it's Friday morning and uh, Donna and Ken are yes. cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, Roberta is in the office working away trying to, everybody's trying to get ready for, for Shabbat, for Shabbat <laughs> and um, we've got a large group coming tonight for uh, Shabbos dinner. So I think nice. 70, 70 oh, people. That's wonderful. Yeah, really fantastic. So really <laughs> looking forward to that. And uh, there's a lot going on in the community. I want to mention uh, several things very quickly. Um, one is that the uh, nomination period for the Howard Ilson Award is uh, open until March 1st. And so if you know somebody who has given of themselves over a long period of time, uh, to Temple Emmanuel and what we're building here continuously, then uh, please nominate them for the Howard Ilson Award. You can find uh, information about that uh, in the bulletin, uh, on our website, and there are some forms in the uh, entryway to the social hall as well. Um, don't forget that the that Purim is coming up. A couple of things to remember with that. First off is that we have a Mishloach Manot uh, fundraiser, uh, and this is where you can uh, donate a, a few shekels, and we will uh, lovingly send out a, a gift bag to the uh, people that uh, you indicate, and uh, it's a great way to um, uh, fulfill the mitzvah mm -hmm. of Mishloach Manot, sending gifts, and uh, also uh, help us uh, keep building what we are here. Exactly. Um, also, March 8th through 10th, uh, our Artist in Residence Shabbaton. That's going to be so much fun. So looking forward to uh, Rabbi Linda and Rabbi Jonathan yes. coming to visit us and teaching us about the spirituality of baking and uh, all the uh, technical aspects and spirituality of uh, what it is to be a soberet, yes. a scribe, and uh, working with our sacred texts. Um, and a couple of things to remember with that, uh, March 8th through 10th, we're going to flip flop our monthly mm -hmm. Shabbat dinner. So we're going to have our Shabbat dinner on the second weekend in March. So that'll be on March 8th. Uh, so, uh, that's really important because you're going to need to RSVP before you normally would RSVP for the Shabbat dinner. So be looking out for that. Mm -hmm. And I'll remind you again. Um, so, but just to, to be clear, we'll have our Shabbat dinner on March 8th. Um, and it'll be so special with it our, our uh, artist guests here. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, then I think the last thing that, uh, oh, another thing about Purim is that uh, Sam Winograd wrote a spiel for, for us and for our community Purim celebration, which will be here. Um, at Temple Emmanuel on Saturday, March 23rd at seven o'clock. Uh, so um, it will be <laughs> tons of fun. Um, and uh, so look forward to that. And then one last thing, uh, well, there's so much to look forward to, <laughs> but one last thing I'm gonna mention right now is that uh, our Temple Seder on the first night of Passover is coming back to Temple yeah, Emmanuel. Yeah. Uh, we've been on the road for a couple of years, but we're bringing it back here. Nice. It's going to be catered by uh, Cloud9 mm -hmm. uh, Catering, you. Andrea Isaacs uh, there. Um, she's going to prepare a beautiful uh, Passover uh, Seder uh, dinner for us. We're really excited about it, and uh, bless her heart, she has made <laughs> it uh, affordable for us. Yes. Um, so it's, it's going to be really good. So watch out for the uh, call for RSVPs yes. for that as well. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I've just listed all these things going on, right? And our mission is building a vibrant community through reform Judaism. And um, we are truly building something special here I all the so. time. Yes. <laughs> And uh, this week's parasha is Truma. That's right. Right? And um, uh, there is uh, one of my favorite verses uh, in this Torah portion. It's Exodus 25, verse 8. And we know it well. 
Va'asui Mikdash Bishakanti Bitokam. Um, and uh, what God is telling us to do in this verse, and this is a message that he gives to Moses to relate to us, is that God wants us to build a sanctuary uh, so that God uh, might be able to um, uh, dwell, uh, betocham, uh, you know, this is an interesting word, betocham, uh, with or in, mm -hmm. uh, maybe among us, uh, and it's got a plural ending, right? So it's not about individuals. Yep. It's about a collective, and the collective is us, and that God wants to dwell with us. Yes. Uh, and and in us in our in our hearts too, um, and that's what makes this uh, this whole endeavor um, so beautiful and so meaningful. Uh, not just today in what we're doing here, but over centuries, over millennia, um, we are constantly building something sacred. Mm -hmm. right? So, um, Sherry and I thought we would. Uh, <laughs> sing to you uh, incredibly, I think, deeply spiritual uh, song, borrowing from many traditions that we've come in contact yeah. with, right? But the words are really special. They are, they are. So, uh, so here we go, okay, yeah. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.